Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be rich. Always wanted to have money. I've, I've, I've followed a lot of billionaires. I've followed a lot of millionaires because, you know, I mean, who does not want to be rich? Who doesn't want to have nice things? Who doesn't want to travel the world? But most importantly, I realized that millionaires and billionaires are the ones that always call the shots. So just imagine you're the one who calls the shots. Everybody answers yes, sir, to you and you get to take all these nice holidays. So what I decided to do was, I decided to study a lot of these billionaires and basically try and understand what makes them rich. So I decided to put this video together, you know, whereby I'm gonna be speaking about the top five, you know, ways, the top five habits of rich people. Top five habits of rich people. Now guys, if you're interested in finding out these top five habits of rich people and how you can imbibe them into your own self and ultimately become rich, I suggest you stick around till the very end of this video. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapper Willis. Now I'm a serial entrepreneur who just loves to make money online. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing about the top five habits of rich people. Okay, guys, so I've studied a lot of billionaires. I've studied a lot of millionaires from Jeff Bezos to Bill Gates to Warren Buffett to, uh, I, mean, I mean, the really, really big boys, even Aliko Dangote, who is the richest black man in the world who is a huge mentor of mine. I've studied all these rich people and, you know, I just wanted to really understand what makes them rich. So I decided to compile a list of top five habits of rich people. Now, guys, if you're interested in finding out a lot about all this stuff, before I get into the nitty gritties of this video, I want you to do me a little bit of, I want you to do me a little favor. Kindly smash the subscribe button and hit the like button. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, before we get into the juicy part of this video. Now, the number one habit of um, rich people, the number one habit that I've studied from rich people over the years is, that, is the fact that rich people set their money to work for them. They send their money to work for them. What do I mean by this? Let's say a billionaire comes up with an idea and this, this habit that I'm about to share with you guys, I have also imbibed it in my own business and trust me, it has absolutely made me a lot of money. So the number one habit is the fact that they send their money out to work for them. So let's say a billionaire, for instance, Jeff Bezos or Warren Buffett, is sat in his yacht offshore of Monaco with some beautiful girls on the yacht and then a business idea pops up in his head. Do you know what he's going to do? He's not going to carry his laptop out and start, you know, scribbling and writing and trying to execute that idea by himself. He would never do that. He will pick up the phone and then he would speak to whoever is in charge of HR. Um, tell them set up a team I don't care how much it costs this is the idea you guys go and research about it and go and execute it when you're done write me a report and get back to me and then he drops the phone so literally he's spending his time chilling and he has used his money to go and work for him so whatever the outcome of that project is they will put it together in the report and then they will deliver it to him haven't you noticed that the only thing that billionaires do is they just sit on their yachts offshore of monaco and then people bring reports to them all billionaires do literally is they sit on their yachts and then they're just reading reports i kid you not they read reports but poor people Poor people will rather save their money and go ahead and start struggling on how to execute the idea and stuff like that. And, you know, that's part of the reason why, you know, poor people will rather trade time for money. No. Rich people trade money for time. Their time is far more valuable to them than anything okay so they'll rather use their money to and it helps them concentrate on the most important five percent of the business so they're not working in the business they're working on the business if that makes any sense they're not working in the bit they're not trying to figure out why this isn't happening they're working on the bit they hire people to do all the things within the business and then they sit back and then they can watch the business from afar and then help the business in a more effective way now guys this has also helped me tremendously because um, like I said earlier, um, guys, I remember any idea that popped into my head, I would grab my laptop, I would, you know, want to build a website, I would want to design the logo, I want to do this, I want to, I want to do the write-up. By the way, I suck at writing, I suck at designing logos, I suck at all that stuff, but I have the ideas. So what I now decided to start doing a lot recently, maybe in the last four or five months, and trust me, it has really helped me. What I do now is if an idea pops into my head, 
what I do is I learn I learn how to go about executing the idea. Go on YouTube, go on anywhere. I learn about the ins and outs of the project that I want to embark on, and then um, obviously I'm, I learn about it. I'm knowledgeable 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 about it. And what I then do is I write a project brief, and I write out all the people that I will need to execute this. All the things that I do not want to do on the project. I highlight everything out. I, I highlight the project brief, I highlight all the things I do not want to get done, and then I go ahead and hire people. If you're looking for where to hire people online, go on upwork.com, absolute best place to hire professionals. I hire people who are a lot better than me in those various aspects of the project, and what do I do? I give it to them and I say, here's the project brief, I expect a report back from you. That's exactly how I handle my businesses, my, my online businesses today. And trust me, guys, it has saved me so much time. And guess what happens? When they're done with it, they send me back a report. I have a look at the report and then I say, okay, this is good and this is bad. And then if the report is viable enough, what do I do? I take my money and I reinvest in that project. And before you know it, another business has been formed. So guys, that is the number one habit of rich people. They use their money to work for them. Number two habit of rich people is the fact that they count their money. Rich people always know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out, okay? They know how much money, a lot of people do not know how much money comes in their account and how much goes in their account. Rich people like to focus on the two most important aspects of their bank statement, the inflow and the outflow. And what do they do? They try as much as possible to curb the outflow, but increase the inflow. They try as much as possible to curb the outflow and then they increase the inflow. Number three habit of rich people is the fact that they flow their money in the right direction. They flow their money into assets and not liabilities. They flow their money into the right places. They flow their money into real estate. They flow their money into treasury bills. They, you hardly see a rich person buy things up front from their jets to their expensive cars. I know in developing nations like um, especially the West African countries, African people love to buy shit up front. But if you notice the top billionaires, they never really buy stuff up front. They will rather rent and lease than have to buy anything. So they will rather, instead of buying, instead of buying liabilities, they will rather buy an asset and have the asset take care of the liability. For instance, if they wanted to buy a new car, what they will do is they'll probably buy a house and then the rental income from the house is what pays for the car. Now, I learned this from Rich Dad Poor Dad. If you, you guys have ever read the book, they always use assets to pay for liabilities. You have more assets and less liabilities on your balance sheet. Okay, guys? So they flow the money in the right direction and then they use their assets to pay for what their liabilities. Liabilities being cars, you know, um, all this fancy stuff that you see on assets being you know, houses, assets are things that have return on investment. Liabilities are things that depreciate over time. Now guys, number four habit that rich people have is the fact that they use money to buy time. Now, I, I, I know I had already mentioned this, but if you go to a rich person's house, you realize that there's so, mess, so many domestic stuff everywhere, they, especially in those castles and big houses, because the rich people do not be, so you have to understand that they would rather spend their time doing the 5% most important things. Their brain needs to be freed up so that they can spend their time being a billionaire, being a millionaire. The rest of the shit they outsources, the laundry, the washing, the cleaning of the house, the everything. You might not agree with me on this, but it's the truth. Go to any rich uncle or rich auntie's house you know, and you see that they have a, they outsource a lot of things. Rich people do not like to be bothered with minor things. They like to focus on the most important things of their business or the most important things of their house. Or they do not like to be stressed from trying to catch a flight. You probably see a private jet waiting for them. They always have PAs. They always have a system working around them that helps them make that helps them free up their mind so that they can make the best decisions possible. Rich people spend money to free up their mind so that they can make the best decisions possible. Now guys, number five habit of rich people is the fact that rich people, contrary to what a lot of people say, rich people do not bother themselves with little bargains. You, I know you've, you're probably 
saying that you know a lot of stingy rich people, but the rich people that I know do not necessarily bother themselves with petty bargains. That's why they can walk into a store and spend five fifteen thousand dollars on a on a piece of suit. They do not worry themselves with little bargains, or rather, I don't like to worry myself with little bargains because what I realized this what I realized was happening to me over time was the fact that. Anytime I was bothering myself about little bargains, right, my mind was so close to that bargain, whereas I could have been using my negotiation skills in the boardroom. So I don't really like to bargain on a little level. I like to bargain on the big level. Let me try and save myself a $25,000 cost. Let me try and save myself a $15,000 cost. I don't care if is $10, $15, $25, $35 difference. Like, I don't care. Just get the little things done. But when it comes to the big things, aha, I can focus on that and try and negotiate and try and come up with a bargain. But when it comes to the little things, I just let it go, okay? Because if you keep trying to focus on the little things, and this is one of the habits of rich people. Rich people love a bargain, yes, but they will never bargain on anything less than 500 bucks, period. You never catch them trying to bargain with a newspaper guy or any of that stuff or a shoe guy or no, 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 no. They want to bargain on the most expensive stuff because that's where they save the most amount of money. What It makes no difference if you're saving 15, 25, 30 dollars. A billionaire, it doesn't add to his bottom line. It's in like literally the amount of zeros would would engulf the $25 bargain. Like you don't even, it doesn't even add up on his balance sheet, okay? I know there was a billionaire back in the 60s. His name, his name was Mr. Getty. J.F. Getty, I think that was his name. Mr. John Getty, I can't remember his name. That guy was so tight. He would bargain on everything, although he was a billionaire. But I think that's an exception. The guy used to bargain on everything. But guys, take it from me. Like If you're always bargaining on little things, you would always miss out on the big things. Your mind will remain small. Okay, Let the little things go and, and open your minds to the bigger things. Okay, guys. Now, guys, I hope I've been able to shed light on the five most important habits of rich people and I hope you're going to be able to imbibe this in your own life, in your own business world as well. Guys, the most important thing that I took from this video is the fact that rich people ultimately use their money to work for them, okay? Rich people send money out to investments and then investments bring money back to them. Rich people give, you know, pay their staff well enough to execute ideas on their behalf and then they bring back reports and they know what business are going to work and what businesses are not going to work. So guys, I hope hope I've been able to help you out, you know, change your mindset as to how you can become a rich person this year. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking till the very end of this video. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in subsequent videos. If you found this video helpful, kindly drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the very next videos. All right, guys, peace out, cheers and bye.